This TikToker is in huge trouble after building a 10-foot tunnel underneath her house, causing safety concerns, disrupting neighbours, and even received a court order to stop digging. More on that in today's video. All right, everyone, welcome back to a new day on the Curtis Price channel and a new day for you to slay it. So if you haven't heard in the last few months, there's a lot of wild drama going around on TikTok about a girl who's digging a tunnel underneath her house. And when I say tunnel, I mean a huge, massive, gaping hole. And this TikToker, she's a one-man army. And she posts on the account called Engineer Everything. However, ladies and gentlemen, she's a software engineer, not a constructional engineer. So it's safe to say she might not have 100% experience in doing this. Now she started building this tunnel a year ago, as you can see, and she's made quite a lot of progress since then. She actually started digging this tunnel from the wall of her basement and has carried on going since then. Almost like strip mining in Minecraft. Is she looking for diamonds? Is she trying to defeat the Ender Dragon? No. So you might be asking, Curtis, what exactly is she doing then? Why is she building this hole? Well, we don't know. <laughs> She just started building it one day and went completely insane and just started digging and she's still going to this day. <laughs> no, ladies and gentlemen, she actually claimed that her motivation for digging this tunnel was boredom and mining for building stones. I mean, that's something you do when you're bored, isn't it? You just f go down your basement and just start digging holes. I mean, pfft. What else are you going to do when you're bored? So far, she's excavated around 70 tons of stall, which she pulls through this little window. So it's safe to say that she's doing the proper job in the proper way. She claimed that she spent a lot of money on the equipment and to dig the tunnel and everything, except this is a zero return investment. She doesn't get anything from this. There's no reason to do this. Literally nothing. So let's just take a quick little look, ladies and gentlemen, at one of her TikToks. It's just been over a year since I started building my underground tunnel system. This is a one year recap. In August of 22, I cut an opening off the side of the sub-basement and started to carve into the solid rock. Fabricated an elevator to lift material. 1,000 pounds at a time. As the entrance tunnel stretched longer and deeper, I bought an electric yard cart and converted it into a mine cart. I used hundreds of concrete blocks and yards of hand-mixed concrete for the 30-foot entrance tunnel. As it got deeper underground, I ran into a lot of groundwater and a spring which made work harder and required constant pumping. Okay, firstly, I think she's living life like it's hardcore Minecraft survival. Second of all, she spent a thousand dollars on this minecart. I mean, yeah, I mean, you would, wouldn't you, if you're bored? But the biggest question of all is why? Why are you doing this? Well, apparently the finished structure is going to be some sort of bunker, like a survival bunker, you know, for the zombie invasion that's happening next month. I mean, if she's building a bunker on TikTok, I might want to start building one too, because I feel like she knows something that we don't. Is something going to happen? Because now you've got me worried and anxious. Jerry, should we start building a bunker? I need to know these things. But the thing about this, ladies and gentlemen, is it has to be illegal. Home insurance is going to be pissed when they find out. Also, there's a lot of risks that comes with this that she might not realise. I used to work on a construction site, so I feel like I can comment a little bit. I don't have huge experience and I was shit in my job. But I feel like I can give a little bit, you know, of, you know, a little bit of my experience in here. First of all, she has a risk of the ceiling collapsing, which she doesn't seem too worried about. Check this out. I'm in a tunnel with 5,000 pounds of wet concrete over my head, and the only thing separating me from becoming a pancake is my own engineering. Her own engineering, which she probably learned from YouTube. She's risking her life here for a tunnel that has no purpose. Plus, also, ladies and gentlemen, she's not only doing the engineering, but she's doing the plumbing and electrical work. Now, I'm pretty sure you need a permit for that. So... I mean, whatever fault you bought, I guess. Before this project, I had very little experience with electrical and had to learn a lot of new stuff. In fact, I used to consider it magic, which it basically kind of is. A mechanical system was needed to ventilate the mine shaft and scrub dust and fumes. Some pump dewatering and other utilities required a lot of plumbing. Okay, I totally get it now. She's a beginner in life and she's trying to mine to bedrock. Good luck. It's about 132 blocks down. Your unemployed friend on a Tuesday. <laughs> exactly. Does she have a job? Apparently so. She works some sort of desk job, works 9 to 5 and then gets home and then goes down to the mine <laughs> and starts working. But believe it or not, ladies and gentlemen, she actually caused a fire within her own tunnel when she was welding something and a bit of a spark jumped off to the side and caught fire. So that happened. I'm investigating a fire that broke out in my tunnel. Last night I was welding some steel forms and the rebar and membrane caught fire. 
I was able to put it out quickly with an extinguisher and the damage is not very severe. A couple of sticks of rebar and some plastic appear compromised. A couple minutes later I came back down with some steel wool to do a cleanup and I heard crackling inside the tunnel. I was shocked. I was concerned about smoke and carbon monoxide in the tunnel, so I had to put it out quickly and use the fire extinguisher to do so. A concern for carbon monoxide? It's not even worth it at this point. But not just that, ladies and gentlemen, it gets worse. And then it gets even more worse. There is a lot of dangers involved here and a lot of concerns I have. For example, cutting concrete. Is she trained to do it? I, well, I'd assume so. She's got so much experience already from YouTube. I dispensed with the vacuum cleaner and now the dust is just going into the air and the quality is rapidly going down. Additionally, the dust is spreading all throughout the house and although I hate it, I better get used to it because from now on, my house and everything in it is going to be a dusty industrial disaster zone. Oh my god, that sounds to me insane, all right? You know when I was on the construction site, all right? If the health and safety officer caught me cutting concrete like that, I would have been kicked off site. First things first, she talks about concrete dust going everywhere, even up into her house. And she has to get used to it, apparently. <sighs> oh, a bit of concrete dust. Oh, oh I actually love the smell of that. I just love it. Concrete dust is pretty toxic. I hope you're wearing a mask. Second of all, when you're cutting concrete, I understand you're using the vacuum to hoover up all the dust. But in this clip, you wasn't. Now, what you should have done instead is done a wet cut. Basically, what you do, you know, get a water bottle or something, poke a little hole in the top of it, or get like a little canister where you can spray with, fill it with water, and just squirt it as you're, as you're cutting, because that calms down the concrete dust going everywhere. It really does, you know, contain it. Like, at this point, it's dangerous. This is... A health concern massively but at least when you are digging in the tunnel at least have the area hazard free I cannot explain to you the amount of hazards I'm gonna show you in this next TikTok. previously I had a minecart accident the reason is that there are loose extension cords everywhere cluttering up the workspace tangled masses of cords are a fire hazard trip hazard and shock hazard and a major inconvenience things are gonna change they're gonna change I have to run some Romex from my electrical closet through this block here. Unfortunately, on the other side, it needs to run down the sealed wall into the sub-basement. But I have one of these! First things first, you're not even allowed to have cables running across the floor in a construction sites. You actually have to hang the cables greater than head height. You can't have them running across the floor like that. It's a massive hazard, a trip hazard. And of course, it can cause fires. Electrical fires. So have them like that in the first place is wild. Like, that is insane. Now, as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, ladies and gentlemen, she has indeed received a court order to stop all work work in her tunnel. And I, and I saw something as well, apparently this isn't like the first project she started. Apparently she started like a project like 10 years ago on her house and everything. So she'd be doing a lot of projects on her house in her spare time. But let's read this article real quick on what's been happening. A Virginia woman who has spent more than a year digging a tunnel under her home and documenting the project on TikTok was recently stopped by officials in her town after the popularity of her account brought their attention to her project. Now this is one of the documents she received explaining why she can't go forward with the work in the tunnel and let's have a Rate. Construction is being conducted on the property without a permit. Based on observations made during an inspection of the premises, the office has declared the structure and the re residential dwelling as an unsafe structure in accordance with section 118 of the Virginia Construction Code. You and any occupants are required to vacate the lower floor of the dwelling above the excavation and tunnel until number two listed below in the corrections has been completed and approved. And in number two, we can see a Virginia licensed professional engineer with knowledge of underground structures must be obtained to evaluate the excavation and construction of the structure and its impact on the existing structure. A report sealed by the engineer must be submitted to the office within seven days. So her actual house, the dwelling of her house, is now unsafe to be in because of the huge fucking gaping tunnel that she built underneath it. Her and other occupants of the house have actually been asked to leave because it's unsafe to live in. And believe it or not, ladies and gentlemen, as expected, neighbours are actually complaining about the work going on and the noise. Sorry if the quality isn't the best, but we'll try to read it. My neighbour has been in construction for about three years. I always see huge piles of dirt leaving her property to the point where she needs to pay for a dump truck to get rid of the dirt. It seems like she boards women that go to school for six months, then they leave and she gets a new set of women who study for another six months. It was never suspicious until 
for the past few years, it's been non-stop construction. Every day it's always something. Until a TikTok page popped up onto my friend's page and I realized it was my neighbor. She is building a tunnel. <laughs> Imagine it, you're just a neighbor like, what the fuck's that geezer doing next door? Like, he's always building something. Like, let me go on TikTok real quick. Fucking hell, is that my neighbor? Fucking hell, hey, she's building a tunnel over here. She is building a tunnel. Is that okay for her to do? She has a YouTube channel showing how she's been doing in the tunnel since the beginning of her move. Can someone please look at her TikTok and see if she has the permits or permission from the town of, of, of something? I can't read that word. The last thing she said on her first video was she wished she had dynamite to make the tunnel faster. <laughs> that is wild. Imagine being the guy next door and seeing your neighbor is talking about using dynamite. <laughs> Sitting in the living room one night watching Talia, the fucking floor just collapses. <sighs> Nothing's on tonight, look. Nothing's ever on on a Wednesday night, is it, yeah? No. <laughs> Was that, yeah? I mean, ladies and gentlemen, if you ask me, I think this whole thing is wild. I mean, why is she building a tunnel? It's not very clear, is it? It's like, it's like she has a goal, but it's almost like the goal doesn't really make sense. But I just want to say if you guys are home, you know, if you're feeling down or anything, just keep smiling, guys. You know, keep looking at yourself in the mirror. Tell yourself how much you love yourself. You're a great person. And keep smiling, guys. The more you smile, the happier you will be. Trust me, it's psychological. And you guys are doing great. You've been doing really well this year. But I really want to know your guys' thoughts on this tunnel girl, to be honest. So let me know in the comment section. Do you think that this makes sense or not? Should this job be cancelled? Let me know, guys. And I'll see you all in the next video.